When you think of smoky flavor, you probably imagine meat sizzling on a grill, or maybe barbecue ribs slow cooking over wood chips. That deep smoky taste has been loved for centuries, but what if I told you there's a way to get that flavor without firing up a smoker or even burning a single piece of wood? That's where liquid smoke comes in. This mysterious little bottle sitting on supermarket shelves promises to transform your cooking with just a few drops. But how exactly is liquid smoke made? And is it really just smoke in a bottle? Today, we're breaking down the fascinating process behind this culinary invention. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. The first thing to know is that liquid smoke isn't an artificial chemical made in a lab. Surprisingly, it's actually real smoke that has been captured and transformed into a liquid form. It all begins with burning wood. Yes, actual hardwoods like hickory, mesquite, applewood, or oak. Just like in traditional barbecue, the wood is burned slowly at high temperatures in a controlled environment, producing smoke. But instead of letting that smoke escape into the air, it's collected and condensed. The idea is to take the flavorful compounds that give smoked food its distinctive taste and turn them into something stable and easy to bottle. The process starts inside specialized smoking chambers where wood chips or sawdust are burned with very limited oxygen. This controlled burn creates dense smoke full of aromatic compounds. Instead of letting the smoke flow freely, it's funneled into condensation systems where it meets cold surfaces. Think of it like breathing on a cold window. Your warm breath turns into little droplets of water. The same principle is used here. The hot smoke cools down and condenses into liquid form. This first condensation is essentially the foundation of liquid smoke. But it's not just about capturing smoke. Raw smoke condensate contains a mix of things, some delicious, some not so safe. That's where filtration and refinement come in. The liquid goes through several stages of purification to remove ash, tar, and other heavy particles. These unwanted byproducts not only taste bitter, but can also contain carcinogens, which you definitely don't want in your food. What's left behind after this careful cleaning is a concentrated liquid that holds the signature smoky aroma and taste without the harmful components of raw smoke. It's like distilling the essence of a campfire into a bottle. At this point, the liquid smoke is a potent extract that can be customized. Different woods create different flavor profiles just like they do in barbecue. Hickory gives a strong, hearty flavor. Mesquite brings a sharper punch. Applewood adds a mild sweetness, and oak sits somewhere in between. Manufacturers can blend these or even dilute the liquid smoke to create products suited for different culinary uses. Some are stronger for commercial meat processing, while others are milder for home cooks who just want to add a hint of smokiness to sauces marinades, or even cocktails. One of the most fascinating things about liquid smoke is its history. It was first patented in 1895 by a man named Ernest H. Wright. He discovered that smoke naturally condensed into a liquid form when it came into contact with cold air or surfaces. He realized this could be captured filtered and sold as a convenient flavoring. Back then, refrigeration and long-distance shipping were limited, so liquid smoke became an ingenious way to preserve smoky flavors in packaged foods. It wasn't just about convenience, it was about bringing that outdoor, fire-cooked flavor indoors, regardless of the season or equipment. Now, some people wonder, is liquid smoke safe? The short answer is yes. When made properly, it's safe to use and regulated by food safety authorities. 
Since the filtration process removes most of the harmful tars and carcinogens, what's left is a food-grade flavoring. In fact, liquid smoke is often cleaner than eating charred meat straight off a grill, since grilling can leave behind burnt residues. Still, like any concentrated flavoring, it's best used in moderation. A few drops can transform a dish, but too much can overpower the natural flavors of the food. So where do we find liquid smoke being used? The obvious answer is barbecue sauces, where it provides that classic smoky kick without requiring hours of smoking. But it doesn't stop there. Liquid smoke is also used in processed meats like bacon, sausages, and hot dogs to give them that signature flavor. Cheeses, nuts, and even some beverages get a smoky boost from it too. For home cooks, it's a secret weapon. You can add it to chili, beans, marinades, soups, or even homemade vegan dishes to mimic the richness of smoked meat. It's especially popular among people who don't have the space or tools for traditional smoking. Another interesting aspect of liquid smoke is how it connects with modern food trends. As more people explore plant-based diets, liquid smoke has become a go-to ingredient for creating smoky flavors in vegan dishes. From smoky tofu to plant-based bacon, it helps recreate that charred, savory taste without using animal products. In this way, it's not just a convenience item, it's a bridge between traditional cooking methods and modern dietary preferences. The production process also highlights how food science can balance tradition with innovation. The art of smoking food is thousands of years old, originally developed as a method of preservation. Liquid smoke doesn't replace that. It can't fully replicate the texture and depth of meat that's been slow smoked for hours, but it does capture the essence of that flavor in a quick, practical way. It represents the idea of bottling up a piece of tradition and making it accessible to anyone, anywhere. So the next time you pick up a bottle of liquid smoke, remember, you're not just holding a flavoring agent. You're holding real smoke, transformed by science and craftsmanship into something convenient, versatile, and surprisingly authentic. A few drops can transport you to a backyard barbecue or a rustic campfire, no matter where you are. And that's the magic of liquid smoke. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.